So this is how to activate Windows 10. Now I have had issues with everything. The modem going out, computer specific issues, hardware specific issues, and now this phone filming. This is the third time I've done this video, or third time I'm doing this video. So if you right click, go down to personalize, you won't be able to change the background. It'll have a message at the top saying you need to activate Windows. If you have a valid product key, click the little blue link and you'll just type it in and it'll work. But I do not. So we will see how long this video stays on YouTube. And I'm going to go ahead and open the command prompt. So the Windows key, type CMD, but run it here. Run as administrator. That's what you want. Click yes. Okay. Okay, now that it's focused. So, we're going to be dealing with licensing, basically. That's what product keys are. You know, they're licenses for you to operate or use their product. So, we're going to be using a utility called uh, Standard License Manager. So, this is only going to be three commands to activate Windows. All of them are going to start with SLMGR space. So for the first one, I want to install a product key. So I'm going to go ahead and do a forward slash type IPK. Hit enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter the product key. So if you've seen the video where I actually install this operating system, you'll know that I installed Windows 10 Pro. So you might want to pause the video here. These are all the ones that I have that actually work. Um, so I'm going with the professional. I can't do any of these other ones because I installed Pro. So I'm going with this product key. So I'm going to type that in. So after I enter the product key, I'm going to go ahead and click enter. Give it a second. So it's, it's not going to focus on it, but it says installed product key. It reads off that again and then says successfully so basically it's good to go that's the product key it's going to use so we're going to go ahead and click out of that say okay so the next command will be slmgr Yeah, so forward slash SKMS. So it's like the key management service that you're using. You want to change that. So SKMS space. K, what is it? K8? So it's going to be KMS8.MS guides. So M S G U I D E S. Dot C -O -M. I believe that's where I got this info from. And click enter. So the key management service machine name set to kms8.msguides.com successfully. That's, that's good. So now for the final command that I'm going to want to use is just simply slmgr forward slash ato. Then I hit the enter key, and that's going to go ahead and actually activate Windows. Activating Windows, blah, 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 product activated successfully. Click OK, close out of the command prompt. So now, if you've done that correctly and used the correct product key, right click, go down to personalize, and as you can see here, I can actually go ahead and change it to my solid black color that I like which is very ironic because Windows 7 just to keep it activated time to time to time and it kept going out uh, they actually delete your background and put a black screen with some white text in the corner but doing that for so long you know I, I got used to that so it annoys me when I have that other 
light blue garbage that was in the background to begin with. This is a lot nicer on the eyes.